Indonesia is a place of great spiritual darkness. As the world's largest Muslim nation, Indonesia is home to 230 million followers of Islam. Those who identify as Christian make up a mere 7% of the population. We are the Midkif family, missionaries to Indonesia. God has called us to spread the light of the gospel into the darkness of this nation. Indonesia is composed of more than 17,000 islands. It is located in Southeast Asia, south of the Philippines and northwest of Australia. With over 270 million inhabitants, Indonesia ranks fourth in world population, following only China, India, and the United States. The island of Java, on which we will be serving, is home to more than half of the nation's population while only being about the size of the state of North Carolina. My wife and I both grew up in the homes of full-time ministry families. We were exposed to the gospel and Christian service from very young ages. As a result, we were saved as children and have been serving alongside our parents for many years. We both attended West Coast Baptist College with the desire to serve the Lord through missions work to Muslim people. After graduation, we served in various church ministries, including Sunday school, youth ministry, music, preaching, and teaching at Christian schools in Ohio and Hawaii. Danielle and I hold degrees in education, which equip us to reach out to the large student population of Indonesia. Indonesia, though being a majority Muslim nation, maintains a degree of religious freedom. This allows us to enter the country rather easily with a religious worker visa. Most Muslim nations are difficult or impossible to gain access to, but Indonesia is an open door of opportunity. After spending a year in the city of Bandung, learning the language and assisting a team of missionaries, we will move to the city of Yogyakarta in central Java. Yogyakarta is the center of education for Indonesia. It is called Kota Pelaja, or city of students. Dozens of universities are located in Jogja, including the largest and most well-known public university in Indonesia. We will be starting a church by partnering with a graduate from a nearby Bible college to assist us as a national pastor. Under Indonesian law, religion is closely monitored by the government. Indonesia has a government-controlled ministry of religion and their religion is even listed on the ID cards of each citizen. Because of this, we will be able to share the gospel freely with anyone who officially identifies as a Christian. But as we reach out to those of other faiths, we must be very careful and more creative with our outreach. We will use our education training to offer tutoring and English language classes as an outreach to the university students. In addition to tutoring, we will offer classes and training in music, sports, technology, and other topics in order to make connections with as many Indonesian people as possible. Our vision for working with the university students is to see the young people come to know Christ and return to their own island, taking the gospel with them. We are looking forward to raising our support as quickly as we possibly can so that we can return to Indonesia and begin our work there. Would you please consider partnering with us as we greatly need your prayers and financial support for this great work that God has called us to in Indonesia. You stand wherever you are, here they are right here. Let's thank them for this tremendous support. Thank you so much. And on behalf of our church and college family, we're proud of you and uh, very thankful that God has brought you to this point. And uh, now we know he's going to use you there in Indonesia.